Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi, my name is Christina, and welcome to Tales with Tina, and I'm so glad that you decided to come and join me for a, another video. So today I am doing a Bible study video with y'all, and I really just feel like I, God is leading me in a direction of this channel in a way that is biblical, um, you know, along with my other content, there's still going to be hygiene content, but there's going to also be a lot of Christian content along with it. So if you like these kind of videos, I hope that you will stick around. So the Bible study that I'm going to do today is over um, Jeremiah 29 11. Um, this is my life verse. Um, this is the verse that I go to when I need a reminder or I feel like I'm, you know, spiraling out of control or whatever it is, I go to this. So I'm going to be using my King James Version study Bible. And we are just going to get in to it. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Um, and then another version that I know this is the um, out of my Christian standard Bible is for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord plans to prosper you to give you hope and a future now I love Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, and I love this saying because it's a good reminder that God knows what's best for us he knows what we need. He knows, you know, what we, you know, what the plan for our life is. And sometimes it's really hard to remind ourselves of that plan. Um, well, not of the plan, but to know that God has a plan. Um, you know, especially if, you know, you're the type of person like me who constantly wants to be in control, constantly wants to feel like, you know, okay, I know what's going to happen, but in all reality, God's the only one that knows what's happened. You know, in 2020, I really had to learn that God is in control. I am not. Um, and that was through a lot of trials and tribulations. Um, I have a whole video on that if you want to check it out, talking about my divorce and how I was feeling. Um, but, you know, back to this. You know, Jesus loves us so much. You know, he loves us endlessly. And, you know, before we, you know came on this earth there was a plan already you know for us and you know there was already a plan you know for us to fulfill on this earth um you know and it's up to us you know to decide if we're going to follow that plan or if we're going to follow something else and I know personally I made the decision, you know, I really want to follow, you know, what the Lord thinks is best for me. And, you know, I really want to just, you know, really seek to know what he wants for me. Now, what are some of the ways that we can do that? Number one, pray. Prayer is big. Prayer is very, very important, and talking to your Heavenly Father is very, very, very important um, to learn and grow 
and know what is expected of you. Because if you don't pray and you don't, you know, ask him, then you're never going to know. And that is, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. You're literally going to be stuck in one place. Um, number two, get in the scriptures. Um, for me, I am, you know, I am LDS. Um, you know, I, so I look to the Bible and I look to the Book of Mormon and, you know, to give me, you know, ex my path that I need to go. And when I read my scriptures and when I pray, it gives me a chance to ask Heavenly Father, what is it that you expect of me? What is it that you want for my life? You know, because in the end, you know, it's, yeah, it's my life. But if I don't let Heavenly Father be a part of it, I'm not going to go anywhere. And so praying and reading your scriptures and looking for little signs and hearing his voice. Now, when I say hear his voice, I'm not saying, you know, it's going to be a big booming voice. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is hear him. Listen to what he has to say to you. When he is prompting you, listen. You know, he's basically your conscious, conscience. You know, he will tell you, well, this, this isn't a good idea. Yeah, that might be, you know, fun, but that doesn't really fit in my plan for you. And should you really do that? You know, I personally believe, you know, he gives us revelation, you know, every day. And I personally feel like he follows me every day so that way I can stay on track and know what's best, you know, what he wants for me. Now, to do have I always done this? No. But I've had to learn, you know, that, you know, I have to know that God is in control. He's not going anywhere. He's the only one that knows what's best for me, not anybody else. I feel like we get so caught up in what other people want for us and what we want for ourselves that we don't take time to listen to Heavenly Father and take the time to look for those little tidbits and notes that He sends us. And that's, that's hard and it's sad. And, you know, I just, you know, I know there was a time in my life where I didn't and now... You know, I repent of my sins. I've asked Heavenly Father to forgive me. And, you know, I am now on a path that I'm really realizing what, you know, He does want for me. And, you know, I just, I know His plan is good for us. I know what He wants for us is far more than what we could ever want for us, what the world would want for us. You know, we may want to, you know, for example, go to L.A., be a big-time actress, big-time lawyer, but is it going to glorify God? Is it really going to glorify His plan for us? You know? So, I encourage you with this Bible study to listen to Heavenly Father, pray to Him, ask Him to show you, to guide you, to give you the knowledge to know. You know, ask Him, Heavenly Father, give me the strength and the knowledge and the wisdom to know what it is that you want for me. Heavenly Father, if I'm going down the path that is not your will, Put me back on it and ask it and be sincere. Let him know that you are serious about this. Get in your scriptures. You know, read, learn, grow in the scriptures. 
because your love for Heavenly Father is going to grow. I know that mine has. And I'm just, you know, my love for him grows every day. And I trust him and I trust his plan for me, even if it's not what I want. And just find ways to hear him. Look for the little hints. Look for the little, you know, tidbits that he gives you. Because I guarantee you, you'll get where you need to go. I promise that. You know, I promise these things. You know, listen to him. Don't listen to the world. They don't know what's best for you. Only Heavenly Father knows what's best for you. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. So, I really hope that you guys get something out of this video. I really hope that this challenges you to, you know, grow as an individual. Grow with Heavenly Father. And I just hope and pray to God that you guys know how much that you are loved because you are loved tremendously. I know things are hard right now. The things are very, very uncertain, but the one thing that's not is Heavenly Father's love for you. And I love you. And I'm just gonna put this out here. If you need prayers, if you have comments, you have concerns, DM me on my Instagram or comment down below and I would love to pray for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you have a blessed day. And I will be back Thursday with another video for you guys. And make sure to hit that like button, the comment, and the subscribe button. And the notification button for all of my videos. Bye.